the uh, biggest um, strawberry. It is a race. It could be considered the best strike day of the year. Very small detail that you only get to see on foot. Good morning, comrades. Good morning, Nürburgring. Good morning, Robert. How are you doing? Good, yeah, not bad. Especially when we're at the Gran Turismo event strike day, which is could be considered the best strike day of the year. I think it's one of the best strike days of the year. Yeah. One of the amazing features of Gran Turismo event strike day on the Nürburgring is that the night before the first day, you get to do a track walk with the bus and you get to see lots of details that you will not be able to see in a car usually. So for example, here in Hatzenbach, you can see different type of tarmac. This is a new part and this is the old part. So in the wet conditions, this is very slippery. So if you're gonna try to take the ideal line, you're gonna end up in the wall. So again, very small detail that you only get to see on foot. Very what? He's driving pretty fast. Oh. If you're properly fast, you'll make some scratches going uphill towards Exmühle from Breitscheid. Uh, I already explained in the bus uh, that it's a good idea to start decelerating, start turning in a little bit earlier than usual when you enter the bridge, yeah, the entry of Breitscheid, yeah, turn in a little bit earlier because it took quite long until the car moves in direction. Here, Exmühle, this right-hander, it's the complete opposite way, yeah. If you touch the brake, wow, you can reduce your speed in a very short distance. <coughs> uh, if you turn the wheel, oh, the car moves immediately, yeah, that's super special. Uh, so it's not enough, it's far not enough to have the knowledge about what's coming next here on the Nordschleife. Is the next one a left-hander or a right-hander? No, you also have to deal with the topography. Yeah? And sometimes it's very difficult to see the uh, topography through uh, the cockpit side. Yeah? Mm. Um, and here for Exmühle, it's also special because at the entry of Exmühle, we have a little bit of banking, yeah, and banking is always good. The entry of the x mule here, this right-hander feels good. We have new tarmac here, so also in wet conditions, it feels, still feels good. But please keep in mind, the exit of x mule is always tricky and difficult because we have a little bit of banking here around the inside, around the perfect line, but at the exit, when you go a little bit down in your knees, then you can realize at the exit there is no banking anymore. It's the opposite way, it's off banking. So especially with powerful rear wheel driven cars, you can lose control very easy. And you have to check out the YouTube uh, video, seven seconds rinking. That's quite funny. Yeah, I know some more funny <laughs> YouTube uh, videos, but uh, this is phenomenal. So I like to start a theory part always with this short video. Okay, that's enough for this corner here. Just uh, one little thing, uh, orange barriers. When you look down to Opa Schrack, uh, the post 119, this is an orange barrier. And orange barriers means it's a good place to park your car in the safe way. Yeah? So if you have trouble with your car tomorrow, then look out for an orange barrier because behind this barrier is always a little bit of space to park your car safely and then you are safe too. That's important. And Breitscheid here is uh, always a good point to stop because behind this wall we have a petrol station and Opa Streck, that's a building over there, uh, they sell good cookies. And schnitzels. All right, that's it so far. Bon appétit. Uh, now we walk up to the bus again. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. We have to hurry up? Yes. We have to go uh, now, pretty much. Okay. Oh, it's Rotamring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
<laughs> he better take the carousel. Uh, uh. You know that now everyone gonna drive the wrong line tomorrow because of this. I was driving so many bus tours here, and not one driver was driving through the small carousel. Oh, I had one. You had one? Yeah. Second carousel. There we go! <laughs> <laughs> and also both curves in Whippermann. Our bus driver will do this now. Yes! Turn yes. to the right and drive over. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is definitely also the most expensive, but we always say you get what you pay for. And you can see the type of cars that are coming here. But is it as good as a Yugo? This, this is amazing. Um, most importantly, you have such an amazing track time because, because of the higher uh, participation fee, they keep the numbers low. So you have a uh, very little amount of cars in the first place to start with and everyone is just chilling, enjoying the sun. So you're gonna have a very empty track in general. And then you also end up with... You know, you can say that at the end of the day when you have different types of cars here, if you've got a lot of Porsches, you see a ton of Lamborghinis, um, I saw a couple of Ferraris as we came in and different things and to be honest with you, those guys seem to be a little bit more careful with their cars than, than someone that might come out with a shitbox or something like that. So <laughs> yeah. you do end up with less hard laps run, which means less traffic on the track and it just makes it a nice relaxing couple of days. Yeah, and also uh, the fact actually Lamborghini themselves, the company, yeah. decided to use this event to present their Huracan Evo here to the public. So that says a lot about well, about uh, the customer group. Well, at the dinner we have the, uh, what's it called? The Huracan Evo, the Spider. But the most interesting vehicle at the dinner is actually this Tuk Tuk. And if you watched last year's vlogs, then you know maybe that they were trying to do a lap record attempt with it. And because whichever time is going to be, it is going to be the lap record for the three-wheeled vehicle on the Nürburgring. And unfortunately, it didn't go further than Hatzenbach. It broke down. And then they sent it to a company that does the engine components for Koenigsegg. So they forged pistons from Koenigsegg into this. Yep. So it should go. It should go tomorrow. Just go. <laughs> Let's uh, go do some laps ourselves.
biggest um, strawberry. Biggest strawberry? No, it's the biggest strawberry um, dealer. Dealer, no, kind of. Not dealer, but. <laughs> Grower? Yes. Producer. Strawberries, cheese. Okay. Here comes James. Here comes James. Peter, tell us what makes Gran Turismo event strike day the best strike day in the world? Oh god, it's the weather. What's a typical Gran Turismo burger? Oh Jesus fuck. This is so disgusting. <laughs> but you have to you have to show them the spaghetti bowl again. That's the worst. It's the worst. Oh. Oh wow. Hmm. Hmm, that's a wrong start. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Hello. 